Good morning, everybody. It's Trish Ruff here for the Intuitive Listening Show. And wow, <laughs> this is my third week in. I can't believe it. And uh, I just want to thank you all for being here and following along with these shows. It's amazing. All right. So I've chosen a card this morning. Um, and for this week, for a collective message uh, for us all. And I've chosen from my beautiful deck, the sacred uh, journey um, into the animal realms. It's a beautiful deck. And it was really interesting because the one that came out for us all was this one, Miracle. And firstly, I was excited about the miracle, right? But secondly, because it's a kangaroo, and many of you know we've had um, massive fires through Australia and uh, they have killed off millions of animals, and one of them being the kangaroo. And I just thought it was interesting that the kangaroo came up uh, today with the word miracle because even though um, so the first message here is even though a lot of, of um, native wildlife uh, and land got kind of wiped out, there are miracles happening every day there with new life and with animals um, being rescued. So that was the first thing. But the second thing is as a collective message, this miracle really is a beautiful card. And I want to read to you from the book what it means. Uh, this rare white male kangaroo has hopped into your life today and one of his gifts is a miracle. A miracle is simply the blessings that come from walking our paths in trust and love. You kept going even when the path wove into the dark heart of the forest. That takes courage because you have embraced life in this sacred way you have opened doors to the miraculous. Limitations fall away and the impossible becomes possible. This really is a beautiful message for this week that your perseverance has paid off in whatever it is that, um, whatever area of life that is for you. Things are really starting to um, show up for many of you and uh, you know there needs to be some trust in this as well because often we ask for um, things to show up for us and then when they do we don't trust it and we kind of push it away so this week really be open to all of the beautiful miracles that are coming your way from your hard work your persistence and your um, energy opening uh, so, yeah, lots of beautiful miracles. Now, what I want to talk with you about today is uh, one of your intuitive listening abilities, and that is one of the clairs. And we're going to talk about clair cognizance. Now, um, many of you know clairvoyance. So, clair, breaking it down, clair means clear. And then we have the word after it. So clairvoyance is clear uh, seeing. Claircognizance is clear knowing. And I want to talk a little bit about that today because, um, you know, many of us don't trust that when it comes up. And, you know, it is a beautiful guiding voice that can help us solve problems and help us just during the day with that flow of things. And I know when I first started developing my clear cognizance, it's always been there, but when I started really developing it and starting to lean into it and trust it, uh, I was getting all of this knowledge that I thought, well, I can't prove that I know that. I was getting all of these things coming in that that I knew, <laughs> right, but no way of proving that I knew it. And that for me was a block 
because I thought, how can I how can I teach this or how can I express this information that I know from here, from my gut feeling, my clear cognizance, without, um, you know, feeling like a fraud or people asking how I know that. Um, And I think for many of you listening, that could be the case too. And even with your gut feeling, that's clear cognizance. It's your gut feeling. It's that knowing that you have, but you don't know how you know it is the best way I can describe it. But it's a very wise voice and it's a knowing that if you trust it can really help you in many situations in life. And I like to think that the knowing and the information that I'm that I'm uh, receiving uh, and the knowledge that is just innately there um, has come from, uh, you know, my energy and my experiences across all time and space. I, I kind of feel that there's, it's like the Akash, it's like this pool of knowledge that I can draw from. And I started trusting that and it really has helped me a lot in my daily flow and in my work. And this is what I help my clients with as well, to really trust those feelings, those innate knowings uh, and to really help them uh, tune into that in their work but also just in their everyday life because it makes a big difference and that's something I would encourage you to do this week when you have those knowings it's like think of it like um, you know if you've ever played trivia like if you go to a trivia night and all of a sudden a question is asked and you're like oh I know that and then you're like oh how do I know that (laughs) right And you kind of just go, oh, well, I must have heard it somewhere. You've got to treat clear cognizance a little bit like that. And if you have that innate knowing of something, to really just trust it and go, oh, well, I don't know how I know that, but it's it's quite strong here that I do know it, uh, so I'm going to trust it. So I would encourage you this week just to really practice that. Um, as far as you feel comfortable and start tuning in to that guidance of yours uh, that really will give you the answers when you ask um, for solutions. Uh, And of course, if you uh, want to tune more into that area of your life, Uh, And if you are actually hearing a lot of those answers now but not quite sure where to go with it, please connect with me and um, book in for uh, a reading or come and join me in my mentoring program where, you know, I truly do help you transform your life into the life that you've been dreaming of. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing to watch people's lives unravel and transform uh, in such a short time but um, you know if that's for you and I know that many people are starting to say you know there's got to be more than this and this is the year that I'm going to put some things in place to truly have better foundations for my life and um, my life moving forward. So if that's you, please connect with me um, and come and check out my work. So you can go to trishrock.com. You can book in a free call with me there. You can also um, head over to my Facebook pages um, at Trish Rock Abundance uh, and, you know, connect with me over there. Just send me a message. and. yeah, let's, let's really find those solutions for you uh, in your life moving forward. And if you are starting to tune in to your intuition, 
then uh, this is the opportunity for you this year to get some groundwork, get some foundations uh, and, st- and some stability in that area uh, so that you can grow from there, either, either in your own business or just in your everyday life, tuning in to that voice that you've got um, and those intuitive prompts that are always guiding us to really tune in and start trusting them um, a lot more than you have been. And for many of us with this beautiful fifth dimension energy that is universal now, we are um, having new portals of energy opening up to us uh, to explore these these greater abilities that we all have, right? We all have them. We've just been told for so many (laughs) or instructed (laughs) or controlled for so many um, thousands of years now that we've, we've forgotten our power. We've forgotten our power and it's really time now to open that up within ourselves Um, and be the shining light in your own life and in the lives um, of others um, around you uh, to really show them the way as well. Uh, And, you know, it's a ripple effect. As soon as we have confidence in ourselves and start exploring our abilities and uh, start exploring what brings us joy, that has a ripple effect out to all of those around us and people can see that, oh, it's possible. Maybe I can try as well. And you really become a shining light in the lives of um, of many people, uh, but mainly yourself. And, yeah, so the, really the message this week is listen to those gut feelings. Listen to that clear cognizance that knowing that you have about things. Don't feel the need to have to prove it to yourself or anyone. Just trust it. And uh, and our other beautiful um, collective message here is miracle. And you are a miracle. Life is a miracle. All life is a miracle. And when you're in that flow of love and joy and trust, um, miracles do come because miracle, miracles are just the alignment of energy uh, and flow and the energetic blocks being taken away and you have the ability to do that through your uh, innate ability to ask for the answers yes so uh should be a really beautiful week and uh yeah look please let me know as the week goes on what miracles have unfolded for you and uh if if there is something that has been blocking those miracles then or blocking anything that you're asking for uh then don't get frustrated. Just ask yourself, why has it not come yet? What what am I what am I blocking here? And uh, ask your intuitive self, your clear cognizance, hop into that pool of knowledge that you have innately, <clears throat> and uh, ask the ask the question: um, What is it that is blocking this from? coming into my life and uh, can I start trusting the inner voice, the knowledge, the gut feelings that that come to me on a daily basis Uh, or do I need help to (laughs) tune in to those answers and start really trusting myself? And the other thing this week is we're kind of coming towards the end of January now. So there could be some feelings of frustration of, you know, it's the new year, we're nearly at the end of January and I still haven't done blah, 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 blah. And that happens at the beginning of every year. So 
try not to feel frustrated. There's always more time and it's never done. Okay, so be gentle on yourself, be easy on yourself. At this time of year, we can be quite harsh on ourselves. Um, but if there is something that you truly want to achieve in your life this year, if there's a dream that has been eluding you for so long, please connect with me and let's have a chat about um, uh, how I can help you. So hop onto my website at trishrock.com or head over to my Facebook page at Trish Rock Abundance. All right. Now we have a beautiful caller with us today. Simone in Lamita from California. Hello, Simone. I'm I'm okay. Wonderful, wonderful. I Thank you for coming you. on. How can I help? Yeah, you keep breaking up. How can? Oh, I keep how can I help you? you? Well, you wanted to give me a mini reading. Do I have to have a subject? No, you don't have to have a subject at all. Is there anything you wanted to ask, or you want to just um, want to just see what? Yes, uh, I would like. I would like to know about employment. Employment, <clears throat> okay. No problem. Um, um, the first, yeah. Yeah. The I'm currently on... working for somebody. Okay. And um, how is he? Is this company going to pick up in the future? Right. Oh. Right. The first thing I'm really sensing here with you, Simone, is that um, I feel you're there out of a sense of duty in a way. I don't feel that you're um, absolutely loving everything that you do. And, um, you know, there is a there is that fear of, being displaced and 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 not having the stability of um, that money coming through each week, but I really feel if you can really um, start letting your um, heart guide you rather than your mind, because when we get too caught up in the the fear of what will happen or the fear of the future or you know, we let our mind get 20 steps ahead, we end up in in fear. And and that that often will then bring things into being that will support that fear. So I would really take a step back, Simone, and really do what you can to step out of your head and maybe not get so far ahead and um, just get into your heart and just really start appreciating everything that um, you love about that work right now and that job and, you know, try to imagine in to how it would feel to be there for a lot longer, you know, rather than the fear of not being there. I get the sense that it's I get the sense that it's not going to disappear like you are going to have that work but I feel that things are evolving there and there might be some changes and if you can really tune into what you love doing that's going to give you a bit of a gateway into the new way that they run things so uh, Are the changes yeah, it, positive or negative? Are they positive or negative? Uh, positive changes uh, overall, but uh, it, but whenever okay. there is, but whenever there is change, there are you know, there are there are people who don't 
like change so much and that's what I'm saying to you. If you can really get into your um, heart space on this and really um, look at everything that you really love that you do on a daily basis, you will automatically be in that energetic flow to to be enjoying the changes. Now, the oh, other people yeah. in the company, that's up to them whether they enjoy the changes or not. But you on a personal level, you can decide to embrace what's happening and go with the flow and that will actually be more advantageous to you um, as far as how you're feeling but also as far as where you go with the company. Okay, does he want me to stay? Uh, I, I can't see you leaving. I can't see you leaving. So okay, uh, uh, yeah. So uh, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a secure place there for you. But once again, everybody has their own will, and everybody can make choices. If these changes are feeling fearful for you, then you know you might decide that it's not for you, and and you know, that will influence any decision. So my message really to you is to hop into your heart and, and really look at the work that you're doing and, um, you know, really appreciate how what you love about it and how you're appreciated there because I think you do a great job um, and really be uh, really be open to any changes that come along um, without fear. I think that's really the biggest message here is not to be fearful of it, to embrace it, embrace it. So he, so he does have plans for the future? Uh, I don't know about him personally, whoever you're speaking about. I'm just sensing wherever you're working, there is some, there is some changes happening. And uh, if you can you know, really step out of the fear of that and and get more into your flow and, and what brings you joy in life, that, that will make it an easier transition for you with work, whatever happens. But I I don't feel that you're leaving there. So what so the oh, sense okay. I'm getting is that whatever whatever changes are happening, you will still be there. That's the sense I'm getting. What he what Okay. Whoever you're speaking about, whatever his plans are, I, I, I'm not tuning into that. I'm just tuning into you, and uh, I sense that you will will stay there. It may be in a different capacity or a different role, but if you can really embrace, you know, finding the fun, I guess, and the joy in all of that, it will be. It, it will make it a lot easier for you. It's about you know, hopping into the heart and getting less in the head here with overthinking. Yeah. Does that okay. make sense, Simone? Um, I have a question. Are, are you also a spiritualist? A spiritualist. What do you mean by that? Can you connect to the other side? Sometimes they come in for me. I wouldn't uh, class myself as an evidential medium. Uh, sometimes they do. It just really depends. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, my, my husband passed away in November. Okay. And um, he said he would stay in touch with me, but so far he only, he only presented him once for a, a tiny second. Okay. For a tiny second, and he showed yeah. me a black spot on his, on his cheek, and um, oh. the black spot was as, as as you know, like a big tar spot, and I don't okay. know what it means. Ah, okay. So, um, what's your gut feeling about what that means? Showing something here on I his cheek. Not, I do not know. Mm, I have mm. no idea. Yeah. Um, you know, I I feel that he is. Um, I, I feel that he's he is giving you messages. But once again, if you can step more into your heart um, and less in your head and kind of over analyzing or over 
thinking whatever messages come um, that uh, that he will show up and when he shows up it's really just to give you comfort and let him let you know that he's there okay so do you see that happening more often in, in the future do you see that do you see that happening more often in the future I think it will, Simone, if you can let go of the outcome and and really just um, just kind of go, oh, oh, he showed up today, you know, rather than trying to analyze the message. Yep. Okay. Okay. One, oh. Wonderful. Thank you, Simone. I'll have to go now. <laughs> I have to thank you so much. I hope that's helped. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Please exercise some, uh, exercise some trust in your clear cognizance and your inner knowing this week and really start trusting yourselves. Know that miracles can happen when you allow them and just allow them in. Please connect with me over my website or on my Facebook page at Trish Rock Abundance. I would love to read for you. Um, or help you get where you want to go this year. All right, I will see you again next week. Have an amazing week. Bye.